what's up everybody? This is Kedrick Barrett, AKA Kid, at Sleeve Believe the Hype on Instagram. And I'm here to give you a bird's eye view of what it's like for a person like myself, a bariatric patient who's had weight loss surgery. And to kind of chronicle my journey a little bit, give you a little bit more insight about the process, uh, the procedure and life post-op. So a little bit about me, um, I pretty much have been overweight for the most of my life, uh, since I was a little kid, I didn't have any thing that happened to me that was traumatic or anything like that. I was just a kid who loved to eat, uh, loved to explore the different flavors of food, and uh, I just ate a little bit too much, a little bit more and more, and as time went on, I put on a lot of extra weight, so much so that I had got up to about 461 pounds on record at my heaviest, and I'm a married father with three sons and something had to give because I wanted to be here a lot longer for my family. And it, I had gotten to a breaking point to where I had a lot of comorbidities, uh, pre-diabetic, I was uh, had hypertension, uh, anything you can think of, sleep apnea, acid reflux, all of these things. And it was just culminating into a larger, larger problem that was gonna to lead to um, heart attack, stroke, basically an early death. And I just knew that I had to do something to change that. So uh, late, uh, mid by mid 2018, I did a little research and settled on going to see a bariatric uh, surgeon to start the process for my weight loss journey. Long story short, it was a six month ordeal for me uh, from start uh, to finish to get to the point to get approval for weight loss surgery because of my insurance requirements. And uh, that consisted of a barrage of testing uh, to see if I was gonna be physically fit for duty to have the surgery. I had to have a psych evaluation. Um, I had to meet with the dietitian and the doctor on six different occasions just to even see if I would have the mindset to be willing to make the necessary changes before the insurance company would approve me for weight loss surgery. So once I jumped through all those various hoops, that's what I like to say, uh, and it actually took me about nine months. Uh, a little mishap happened there to where I kind of got lost in the sauce and I ended up be not being scheduled until the following uh, April of 2019. And I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy known as uh, VSG surgery in the weight loss community on April the 26th of 2019. So I'm just over two years post-op and to date I have lost 233 pounds, which is still overwhelming and astounding <laughs> to say the least. Um, outside of that, life post-op for me, it started off kind of slow in the recovery phase because once you do something like that so major, you, it's an adjustment to get yourself uh, to where you need to be mentally and physically because you have lost 80 to 85% of your stomach. So your stomach is healing. You don't have a lot of energy and you really can't eat anything or hold anything uh, solid because your stomach is still healing. So that was a long and enduring process, but it got greater later for me. As I started to take my supplements and I was starting to eat and come around a little bit more, started to work out and exercise, the weight started to come off and I started to be able to enjoy a better quality of life, which was huge for me. Uh, to be able to do some of the things that I had never been able to do with my kids, with my family, with my wife, uh, just you know, simple things like being able to get on a roller coaster, being able to run, uh, play basketball with my boys, or just being able to be very active with them, which was something that I had never been able to do. And to be able to do these things now at my age, I'm just really having the time of my life and that's kind of where I am with it. Outside of that, um, the process for somebody who's really thinking about what they want to do, a lot of people say it's the easy way out. A lot of people kind of shy away from doing it because of that. And I want to tell you that this is not an easy process at all, not by a long shot. This is something that you really have to work hard at. It's just a tool to get you started which what a lot of us needed was a boost to help us get on our way to where we can take back our health. But we needed to be able to lose weight more rapidly because of the comorbidities and the underlying conditions that we were dealing with. So 
for somebody to say it's the easy way out, they really need to educate themselves more on the process and all the intricate details that go along with having bariatric surgery and what it can do to a person physically as well as mentally. And it can be very emotionally draining. But I say that to say that anybody that they put their mind to it, they can accomplish anything and achieve the same amount of success, if not more, like a person like myself with the weight loss, if you just change your mindset and everything is in moderation and balance. Meaning that now I have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm on Instagram a lot and I'm cooking a lot of different uh, foods and I had to change my relationship with food before I could go back to, because I've always been a person that was in the kitchen. So that's like kind of part of who I am. And now that I've developed a different relationship with food and I understand it more and I'm more educated on it, then now I could go into the kitchen and still cook some of the same foods that I used to eat and enjoy them. But I eat them in moderation and I have balance when it comes to that. So that's kind of more of my new normal now was learning how to adjust and develop a mindset to where I could take on food and see food in a different light, but not be afraid or be bored or get into that thing where I feel like I'm only in a shell or I can only eat certain things. That's where I am with it. And that's kind of my new normal. So I'm really hoping that the process and the journey that I'm on, I'm able to help others to, and I believe in the each one teach one uh, mantra that if I've learned how to eat in order to live instead of living to eat, then I should reach back and help somebody else to learn and to apply that same concept so that they could add more years of longevity to their life and just be here a lot longer for their family. So that's my uh, aspirations now that I have achieved uh, a a certain amount of success with weight loss and now I got to maintain that weight loss. So me being out on social media keeps me, keeps my feet to the fire, I should say, and keeps me motivated and working with others helps to keep me motivated to do all the things that I need to do to uh, maintain my weight loss and keep my health in check. So that's part of my story and I really hope that this helps and inspires many individuals who are on the fence and are having thoughts, uh, second thoughts about weight loss surgery and why they shouldn't do it. Go and check me out and see my story and you can know that you can do it too.